Hey guys, this is Matt. Figured to show you what I got. A few days ago, uh, got this bag here full of um, train cars and stuff. I believe I paid like ten dollars. Yes, I did. Ten dollars for this bag of stuff here. So, start off. I got a turn the light on. Got a Kodak Premium Gold uh, processing car. It's by Lifelike. It's missing its wheels. They're probably in the bag. Here's a Penn Central um, by uh, Roco. It's a Roco gondola. This is a step there. Let me move this down a little bit. Sorry about that. Another car, box car. Great Northern, doors open, everything's intact, couplers, it's an Athern, Athern, uh, probably an Athern blue box, by the looks of it, probably a kit, it's the way this looks, still got the couplers, the wheels, I do have the truck set to spring so I can change that out if I want, so I got them. More in the bag. This is by AHM Yugoslavia. It's missing the truck. It's missing some stuff on it, obviously. Let's get this side though. I have another truck that could fit this. And the wheels, obviously. Flanges are busted off a little bit. Oh well. Hey, it's a main central. Got a Fruit Growers Express insulated boxcar. Needs the coupler pieces here. Michigan Central by none other than Lionel when they did. H.O. back in the 70s, I think. This is built by Lionel. And two more things. So, got this um, Four Bay Hopper, Union Pacific. It's by Bachman, of course. And then another... Mantua uh, gondola. I have another one just like it, but obviously not missing the wheels. So that was like ten dollars what I got there. Now that was a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago rather. Today is um, Saturday. I was coming home from work. There's a hobby shop called AA Hobbies. It's in Warwick, Rhode Island. It's on the way from home from work. So, they are similar to Larkspur Line uh, hobby shop that uh, Harrison SMT Mainline goes to. But the building is smaller. And I'm going to include some pictures of what it looks like for the display of locomotives you'll see um, if I think about it you'll see the clips of the uh, steam engines and stuff like that um, and then so this is what I bought there's consignment for ten dollars the fire car Great Northern Fire Prevention Instruction Car traveled and loaned to many railroads by IHC. 
finest scale modern railroading products from around the world. Look at that detail, that baggage car. Great Northern Fire Prevention Instruction Car, X1828. Great Northern Railway. Painted it quite well. It's got the details here, little bag for the railings and stuff. I want to put those on. Green Wave Products, custom painted. I'm not even going to pretend to pronounce that. Lagonia, maybe? Pennsylvania? If I butchered it, oh well. <laughs> Look at that. Shows all the cars that they offered. The IHC is pretty much defunct. Gone. Um, you can go on eBay. And there's a... Um, Website that I, or even online IHC is not in Philly anymore. It's in, down in Texas. They moved IHC as a whole company is gone They're selling off whatever stock they have left Otherwise they're kaput So that was ten dollars There's another car by IHC It is a railroad railroad Post Office Car, Empire Builder by Great Northern. Got this for four bucks. Smooth Side RPO, Great Northern Empire Builder, number 2666. The guy that was there, uh, the owner, very well uh, renowned. I think his name was John or something. Um, he told me. To add weights to these cars because they're very light. There's another one from River Rossi. Empire Builder. Harrison Glacier. It's a sleeper car. Bunk car. Got that for four bucks. Look at the back of this. Locomotive Americana. Big boy. And Consulate Cata Logo Color Color Catalog. Apparently, that's what it's saying in Italian. Made in Italy. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Awesome. And I have the um, couplers that I can change over to McHenry's. They snap right in, right here. They snap right into that. As long as they're... I think those are made for the heavyweight cars, but you know, I'll try it eventually. See what happens. I also bought... For my um, BL2. And my C-Liner. Which I'm going to put in the shot. Here, this is my C liner. I've had it's a Proto 1000 C liner by Lifelike, um, Canadian National 8742. It has the gears here, are starting to split. So, there's my replacements by Athern drive axle gear SD 40 2. And six per pack costs seven sixty nine each. I figure what the heck, I'll buy two of them. So that's what I did for the BL two that I have. That's my uh, lifelike uh, Proto one thousand. I figured that it has split gears because the way um, it's probably gonna run. So. Figured, why not? Just get them anyway. And then for 10 seems a bit much, but they're going for the same amount of price. The coupler covers for Athern, boxcars, locomotives, stuff like that. Then I got this. You're going to like this. Whoever's going to like it. Everybody's going to like this. I like it. It was on a shelf. Consignment shelf. 
Ready? It is an Elko PA. How you can tell the PA from an FA. This has 12 axles. PAs have them. FAs have eight. Or four in the front, four in the back, obviously. Got that for $22.50. I did the horns. Um, what it was is I gotta, I'm going to wipe the glue off, so don't worry about it. I'm kind of picky about that myself. Um, this horn here kind of got moved, so I glued it in place. This glass here, the inner window, it was popping down. The guy said you just have to use like white glue. No, I cemented it in place. It's not moving. This is an Atherin Blue Ox. It's got the um, fl dual flywheels. You can see, probably see it there. Exposed um, commutator for the motor. It's a beautiful shape. Runs really good. Um, he had it in the test track, ran beautifully smooth. Kind of sparked a little bit, as you can see why. And I kind of polished up these wheels here. I tried to, but I wanted to do the video first of it running, and then polish it up, and grease it, open it up, clean up the commutator, and grease her up, oil it up. I'll change the couplers out. I got a couple of uh, Katie's. Or I have um, Bachman Easy Mate 1's from cars that I have. Let me peel this sticker off. But thank you for watching. And I'll conclude my visit to the AA Hobbies um, Hobby Store in Warwick, Rhode Island. And what I got last week at the or a couple weeks ago, at the flea market. Alright, have a good one, everyone.